Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Payne from the Live Well Center. And the first challenge in the 20 by 30 program is to simply move and stretch. You see, we have to move our bodies, our joints, our muscles through a full range of motion every day in order to be truly healthy. It doesn't take a lot of time. You don't have to do an hour, an hour and a half. All it takes is five to 10 minutes of stretching or mobilizing. I tell my patients all the time, it's like brushing your teeth. You wouldn't brush your teeth for an hour and one day and then forget about it for the rest of the days during the week, right? So whether we're doing yoga, tai chi, or just simply doing your own stretching program, we have to simply move or stretch for five to 10 minutes every single day. So it can be really basic, it can be longer than that, but the basic amount in order to be healthy or to get that benefit is five to 10 minutes a day. So in order to stretch, um, there's lots of ways of doing it. I'll just go through some of my stretches I usually do before a workout. And remember, stretching, mobilizing, it's always better if our bodies have been warmed up, but don't let that be a barrier to doing it. Some stretching is better than none at all. So, so as I'm going through some of my routine, I'm gonna go a little bit faster than I normally would go. Normally I would hold a stretch for anywhere from 10, 15 seconds. Sometimes I go a little bit faster, sometimes a little bit slower, depending how my muscles are feeling. You want to go by feel. If the muscle's tight, sore, you want to go into it for a little bit longer or do it multiple times. Okay, so some of the stretches I'm going to go through. I'm going to start with doing a side lunge to get the groins and the leg. I'm going to go out to the side as best I can, feeling a nice gentle stretch on the inside of the leg, and then to the other side. I'm going to go through this a little bit faster just to get all of them in, but you'll get the idea. So going back and forth to get the inner leg. And then I'm gonna turn the toe up, and that, that'll be a nice stretch for the hamstring. And I'm gonna point the toe away. So you come back, point the toe away. Go back to the other side, point the toe away, come back. And then I'm going to take a big lunge, feeling that pull in the front of the back hip. I'm gonna put my inside elbow down, and then point up. Inside down, and point up. And then we'll stretch over the other side, Okay, and from that, we go to a pigeon stretch for the glute and the piriformis. Sitting there, other side, and then onto the back, cross one leg over the other, bring it down, keeping the shoulders on the ground, getting a stretch in the back. Same thing for the other side. I'll bring one leg up, straighten. Up, Roll on to the front, do a downward dog. Up. Come into your squat position. Getting the elbows inside the knees, so right in the legs. Putting one arm on the ground, reaching up overhead. Other hand on the ground, reaching overhead. We'll do that a few times each side. Okay. Go back onto your hands and, and knees, pointing your fingers towards our knees and leaning back. Get in a nice forearm stretch. Standing up. And then to stretch out the shoulders, I'll usually pick a spot on the wall or the ceiling, coming towards the wall, putting one hand on the wall and turning away, feeling that stretch in the front of the shoulder. At multiple levels. And last thing, we can stretch the neck and the traps. Simply bring the arm, the hand to one side as we pull away with the opposite. Okay, and we're good to go.